Hello guys, I hope you are doing fine. My name is Parth and today I am going to give you a short tutorial on how to read Zookeeper transaction and snapshot log. Before directly jumping onto transaction logs and snapshot logs, we will first try and understand what is Zookeeper, where can be its files located in the file system, what are the transaction logs and what are the snapshots and then we will finally do a demo on how to read the transaction and snapshot logs. So what is Zookeeper? Zookeeper is a distributed open source coordination service for distributed applications. Why do we need Zookeeper? What is the motivation behind implementing that software? The basic motivation behind implementing Zookeeper or writing Zookeeper is to relieve distributed applications the responsibility of implementing coordination services from scratch. For example, it is used by HDFS in HDP for controlling the behavior of high availability feature. ZKFC, also known as Zookeeper Failover Controller, is one of the best applications of Zookeeper server being used for synchronization between HDFS server machines. As discussed, Zookeeper's basic design goal was to store coordination data and help the services such as HDFS to synchronize properly. Zookeeper deals with the data in, the, in terminologies such as Znodes. These Z nodes save the status information, configuration information or configuration itself and location information etc which is necessary for a service to coordinate properly and to synchronize. Zookeeper and Z nodes. So what is the basic relation between Zookeeper and a Z node? Zookeeper deals with the information by creating Z nodes and storing state information in them. Here, we use the term Z node to make it clear that we are talking about Zookeeper's data nodes. Those Z nodes can contain information that can range from HA information for HDFS to application state information for YARN to storing configurations for service Ambari Infra Solar. Moving ahead, where can we locate the files and then what are the locations on the local file system for Zookeeper configuration, for Zookeeper data? and for Zookeeper login. For a default HDP installation, you can find configurations under this direct hierarchy. This contains the configuration files for a Zookeeper server. The data directories. You can find the location of the data directories located on this path. These directories usually contains the snapshot logs and the transaction logs for the Zookeeper server along with some more data. The service logs for the Zookeeper service can be found under slash var slash log directory hierarchy which contain the log files for a Zookeeper service. Zookeeper transaction logs and snapshot files. Zookeeper makes a note of every transaction that happens which may be either a read or a write in a file called as transaction log file. It periodically takes a backup of these Zookeeper ensemble by creating snapshot of it and storing it on the local file system. These backup files are named as snapshots. These are fuzzy snapshots which, which hold the snapshot of a data tree. For a default HDP installation, snapshot and transaction log files are stored under slash hadoop slash zookeeper directory hierarchy. Going ahead, let us take a look at how these transaction log files and snapshot files look like on the local file system. Let us start by taking a look at how zookeeper looks in an HDP 3.1 cluster. So this is my Ambari 2.7 which is required for the HDP 3.1 installation. I have Zookeeper installed in my cluster and as you can see there are three Zookeeper servers present. Now I am in the terminal of one of the Zookeeper servers which is present on my cluster. Let us verify if the Zookeeper service is running on this server. As you can see, the Zookeeper server service is running with the user Zookeeper. After confirming that the Zookeeper server service is running, this is the directory hierarchy for the snapshot log files and the transaction log files. As you can see, these snapshot log files and transaction log files are situated under the version-2 directories. The listing is as shown here. These are the log files, these are the transaction log files and these are the snapshot files. Usually these files are not human readable and require some set of special commands which we will be using to read those files and extract meaningful information. Let us see how we can read the transaction log file first. 
as pasted on the screen this is the command which we would be using to read the log file we would be using the log formatter package which would be helping us extract meaningful information out of this transaction log file let us run this command as we can see this command returned a list of transactions that happened on the various z nodes that are currently present in the zookeeper server's database these are the zookeeper z nodes and there are some transactions that have been performed on those z nodes so this is the information we usually get when we try and read the transaction log file now let us see how snapshot files can be read using the same command but just a different package here we can see we are using the same command the same class path but just the package is different which would be processing this particular snapshot file if we run this command we will get some set of information which will help us understand what has been done on a particular z node what was the transaction id what was the time and some more information along with it as you can see here after running this command we got the z node details for slash for hive and for whatever the z nodes that are present under the zookeeper database at this point of time so we get a lot of information along with this detailed paragraphs just like this this is how the end of the snapshot file looks like this this end covers the session details which also include the session id the timeout and the ephemeral count for that particular z node these are the session ids this is the timeout value and this is the count of the ephemeral z nodes that were created for this particular session so that was an end to our demo thank you guys for watching the video in this video we covered what exactly is the zookeeper service what is the motivation behind developing the zookeeper service what are the basic terminologies and how can we read the snapshot and transaction logs i hope this video helps you in future thank you